we were awake very, very early in the morning. Um, we didn't sleep very well. Yes, I mean, the adrenaline is very high. Um, we were driving to drop off the first of our leaflet bombs, and they were sitting in the back of the car, and one down in the well of the car. I was driving, and Pete Smith was next to me, and the, the carrier bag with the leaflet bomb in it was sitting next to him. We pulled out some traffic lights, uh, and we'd worked out our route, and uh, not a very good navigator, actually, so all the time there was a degree to which we were nervous about where we were going and Pete was trying to keep tabs on it. We put up these traffic lights and a police, police car pulled up next to us and the policeman sitting in the driving seat sort of leant across and was looking into the car. Um, Pete sort of kicked me and sort of drew my attention to him and I sort of looked up and I coughed and the policeman looked up and the light changed and I whizzed away. But the absolute the rush of adrenaline at that moment was extraordinary. We were really shaking with it. Uh, but then we moved on. Whoa! <laughs> 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 I think we'd done two or three, and there was suddenly a whole series of police activity going on, and that blocked the, the, the planned route. But we had no idea that there were two other people in Johannesburg on the same day, and we'd driven right into the area where they'd let off their leaflets. So the rest of them, we just had to drive and drop them off at an appropriate place. So when we saw the paper the next day with the headlines of five cities, leaflet bombs going off in five cities. It was almost absolutely amazing to us. A female reporter uh, was very annoyed because if she had taken one step further, then the leaflet bomb would have gone off underneath her skirt. I, I found it quite funny, the report. By and large, the secret of our success was the fact that we were white. It was focusing on black people as the enemy. They were afraid of black people. They didn't see white people moving around. They were friends. They were the same. Strangely, when we were at the airport, we then saw two faces that we recognized over the other side of, of the airport, um, which were obviously the other two guys who'd been in Johannesburg. And so we made sure that we kept well out of their way. I think I saw Pete Smith on the plane, like, you know, Pete's very, you know, very good. He was able to, you know, con contain himself. I, I recall strongly Peter Smith saying, I don't know who you are, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? And sort of shooing him away and sending him on his way. You know, so we, we, didn't, we didn't communicate, you know. I think he felt quite sort of slighted at the time. Um, but I guess his desire to say hello was the tension, the nervousness uh, unfolding that they had uh, experienced too. I don't think we felt we got away with it until we landed back in London. 